And I'm Kendall. Thank you for joining our channel. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate you. And how was your day? Exciting. It was exciting. exciting. It was exciting. <laughs> so you, um, I guess your job, I guess we can call it like a call center type of thing, you know. Oh, we're going to do an interview? No, I'm just saying. Because I'm, 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 I'm going somewhere. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, so you. Something <laughs> like that. So the voice is getting to you, the, the calls, I guess. Getting on your nerves today. They do get on my nerves because it's like, I don't know. It's you, when you try to help people, but they're older and they don't always understand. <laughs> and then you have like a time limit that you're trying to do things and they always want you to slow down or yeah baby i can't, I can't read like you. i used to I, I get it i get it but see probably for being patient with them most definitely it's gonna come back around because that time is approaching for us all <laughs> i know and i try to think about that because i'm like because yeah. karma is crazy so i try to be like really nice i thought you were gonna say the word <laughs> karma is a b <laughs> like no like it's crazy because i try to be so nice to people because i'm like what if i get old one day and people i don't want nobody to be mean to me just because i can't hear you or yeah, just can't, have... like you're talking too fast and i really can't hear and i'm trying to understand why you called me in the first place <laughs> and uh, like and then they deal with like um people trying to like scam them and stuff like that and it's yeah it's terrible so you like you, you have honestly to be i don't think it's gonna get better i think it's gonna get worse just being real the world is such a microwave world now everything is like not slowing down not pausing but like going <laughs> extra fast they always you think know? i'm a computer they think <laughs> <laughs> they're like is this a computer I'm like, no, I'm a real person. They got out there being I, careful. Yeah. 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 Too many scams out there. I, I, if I was them, I think I would think the same way. I would be like, just be suspicious of everything across the board. Just everybody that called. Who are you? What to say? Are you, you should be. I have yeah. heard a couple of people that have said that uh, people have called them. And they have given out information before. And people have gotten into their bank accounts and Taking, taking the life savings and I, you know i don't know how much they took personally but i know like they're yeah it happens for it real. hurts it yeah. happens for real and it's like you're it's too old to make that back you know it's too you're too old to make it back into the workforce yeah, yeah so yeah they're not speaking trying to of the scared. working for it workforce and making it back like the what is crazy is the amount of homeless people that are in their 60s 70s yeah. um even you know 50s 40s like it's 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 an amazing amount of homeless people in the world so it always shocks me when i call someone and they're like no i can't talk to you about this or no i don't have an address to verify because i'm homeless well you know what are they like in halfway houses maybe or? no like literally some have told me i'm living out of my car and like this oh. person and i can tell how old you are, you like in your 70s. Dang. And you they tell me I'm living out of my car. They're like, I don't oh. like everything is too expensive. And they're like, well, you know, and then some will go into telling me a whole story, like, I worked all my life, and then all of a sudden, um, this medication I was taking, or I had an accident, and now I can't work, or something has happened to where they can't you know make a living for themselves that they've always made and so whatever retirement whatever they had is apparently just gone you, apparently they can't get it you know i even I, one woman she was complaining she, saying she had it was money that she knew she had put back and knew she it was owed to her but for some reason she couldn't get it until a certain age and she felt like she needed it real bad and it was just yeah. unfair for her to be it's she's my like, money I and I want all it my now. Life. Yeah, because you've worked all your life. It, it, and I and I can't imagine working all my life for something to prepare for something and build something. And and um 
and think that I, I'm going to be okay by the time I get to a certain age and then getting to that certain age and getting sick and feel like, okay, well, at least I have this. But they tell you, no, you don't have that because you're not old enough to have it yet. It but I'm like, ridiculous. but I can't work. Like, but if you can't work, like, what do you, what it's do you like do? these people are stuck in like the middle. And it's like, it's a little part of society that just gets stuck. And these people have worked all their lives. And then now they're like, it's usually between like 60 and 70 ish. And yeah. they're like, I wonder what it would be like the, I, I know we have the, like, like I'm, I'm a solution guy. You already know that. And I know the U.S. has the money because we're giving it out, you know, in other areas, you know, dealing with other things in politics. I know we have the money. We're paying rent for people and all type of things. It just seems like we would have a better system. I would hope. It's like we don't look, we don't honor our elderly like they do, like I've seen in other cultures, you know, where they hold the elders at high regard. It's like when you get old in the U.S., it's like, Oh, bye, no sleepy Joe, you know, because he's older. You know, they even get it Trump because he's older. Some um, people, some people I've talked to a handful, I've talked to different ones. I, you know, I, it's a list. So it's like some, their children really do take care of them, like really do do everything for them and take care of them, like everything. And then some um, are really well off. They're like, hey, I'm traveling the world. You know, I'll be back home when I am back home. You know, I'm enjoying life. I'm just, I'm right now, I'm sitting on the beach. Yeah. And like, this is, this is, I'm enjoying life. Or I'm in my RV and I'm doing this. And they're, they're just enjoying life. It's like they the retired. chosen few, few, you know, because it it's is hard out here. Few. And mm-hmm. when you get older and the money is mm-hmm. low, I mean, maybe mm-hmm. you don't have the money to afford mm-hmm. to be able to go and search the world. Mm-hmm. And then you have those that even if they have a home, their home is damaged and need work or their home is there. That's all that they can afford. And it's hard for them to get food and things like that. But it's interesting because um, there's a lot of different programs that that do do food uh, stipends and things like that for the elderly. So they do have different programs and things. But um Insurance is high. Yeah, yeah. Insurance, insurance is, is expensive. Is really high. It's, it's, it's stupid high. Yes, insurance is expensive. But then I think they do get some. Um, there are some benefits that you can get as an uh, that I think that the government will pay most of it. Like you have parts that the government pays that you know you don't have to pay as much. I guess based on your income or something like that. So you'll be eligible for like free. That's. Or subsidized <laughs> healthcare subsidized or something like that but it's a it's a lot it's a lot so you you hear a different range which always surprises me to hear seven, uh, someone that is in their 70s tell me that i'm living out of my car that's a hard pill to swallow because like where's your family where are your kids where are your grandkids mm-hmm. where'd you you know like what happened but on the flip side living out of your car it depends on how you're living out your car. Because these days, people will say, I'm living out of my car, and they're living great. They are, but they got the know-how. What if you don't know how? You know what I mean? And like yeah, Some people true. just have that know-how and that get up and go. But like the more I live, I, I, I've I bumped into some people that just don't have that get up and go, that drive. Like Even if they don't know how to do it, they're going to figure it out, and they're going to go to building. Some people just don't you know, have that in them. You know, especially yeah. when you get older and things are a little bit sore and stuff. It looks real cool on, on YouTube. It does. But it's like you got to have some type of know-how to put the shelves in the way that they do in these vans. Man, and it's the great. And the sinks. It's great. Stuff. It, it is, is great. great. Y'all is that great. are doing that, <laughs> that are out there, like, really, like, redesigning a van and RV and, like, living out of your car. It's great. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's cool. It's, it's it seems cool, so like, freeing to me. It's almost like. That's what some homeless people say, though. They said that, yes. like, especially the ones that, that live, have the um, privilege to stand on beaches. It seems so freeing to me. It's almost like, I don't know. So that, oh, that no. what you want to do? You know, Y'all we might get the kids in school. Though. You want to, like, just... just Man, You know, I've already told you. I want, like, I would love an RV just to travel and just say, just 
book it. Let's go. Like, like I'm, I'm down. Literally, I'm ready. My bags are packed. Literally, like packing the bags. I mean, what you, what you talking about? Are we talking about open life is a highway. I'm talking about USA. Or are, are we talking about you trying to send me on some nature boy type stuff because it didn't? Happen. No, I do want to go like all. I don't know. I want to go see so many places. I want to <laughs> see so many places. There's so many places that I just want to see or even like drive through. But again, you got to be careful too because, you know, we can't just be driving through everywhere. Nah, we can't. We can't nah. just be driving through everything. You're and not then, welcome everywhere. No, you, for, for one, you're not welcome <laughs> everywhere. And then for two, like, it's like, I do want to be able, and then maybe that's just an Alabama way of thinking. And that could be that too. What if that's just an Alabama, like, literally, what if that's just an Alabama way of thinking? That we're not welcome everywhere. What if we really are welcome in a lot of different places? And we may be we're. welcome in a lot of different places. But one thing I do know, a lot of people ain't welcome here in Alabama. <laughs> and that's, Oh God! Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm being house subject. Let me let me ask you: Have you um? That's crazy. You, you know, like I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if you know or not. Like I'm a huge fan. Used to be a fan of Diddy. I'm not gonna say just a huge fan because I I, I was crazy about pop. Oh God! I was crazy about pop, but then Biggie came and I was like, oh damn, I'm torn between the two. And right. Diddy was just dancing his ass around. On screen, I was like, you know what, this dude cool. And I start watching making the band, and I ain't like the way he was treating the band, but I liked how I liked his swag. I liked the Fonsworth Bentley. So I said that to say this, you know, I'm curious to how you feeling about. Now let me tell you this about Diddy before I ask you how you feel about what's going on with him. Now recently, <laughs> Diddy is like with with this he got going on, he has hired some of the most powerful lawyers that you can get in the United States. I mean, one lady has like, she's an international yeah. lawyer. She has security levels like the military. She can get access. So it's like, he made it. so are you acting guilty or not? No, he's Did acting he do safe. It? Yeah, I can save. That's I'm just safe. saying you go. No, okay. Okay. With like, yeah. <laughs> okay. With, with the Diddy thing. No oh, lord. She's it's, getting it's, it's, he has the same lawyer that defended Ben's Ben Laden's um right hand man. Like these are lawyers that defend people that the public clearly thinks is guilty. You feel me? He has a lawyer that really defended smart. Ben Laden's shoot man. He's really you feel smart. me? He's, so he's smart. I'm sorry, he's smart. <laughs> he's smart. To the Diddy Jet. No, I'm sorry. To the he's, Diddy Jet. He's smart. He's really like he is smart. I'm sorry, he's smart. Because, like, I don't know. When you have been rich that long, <laughs> like, <laughs> when I really just feel like when you have been rich that long, you're in a different world. And, like, I really believe that. I don't think he did everything that they're saying he did in the manner yeah. that they said he did it. I, I he think better it's not have, over exaggerated man. to a certain extent. I can see that. I can, I can see them going, nah, I believe he's a freak. Oh, he a freak. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A super yeah, yeah. freak. Yeah, 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 Super yeah, freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's super yeah, freaky, yeah, yeah. y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stop, yeah. won't stop. Take that, take that, yeah. take that, take that. Yeah, he would all take that. that. He would all that. Yeah, he would, he, all, he that. would all of that. He but would all that. I just really would hate to believe that he's trafficking women, minors, any of that weirdness going on like that. You don't have to do that. You get the war. The world is your oyster. Dude, you're listed as a billionaire. Whether you're one or not, I don't know. But you're listed as a billionaire. You got your pick of whoever you want, even men, and that's fine. But like, you don't have to um, get women when they're at their lowest, or manipulate women and get them to sell themselves and their, you know, their whole essence for what? For a good time, for a party, or whatever. So I hope he ain't doing it like that because I like Diddy. I, uh, no, I honestly don't. I, I don't think he was doing it like that. I think. I think it was all fun and games until y'all, <laughs> not y'all. I think it's all fun and games until you found out how how he was. I think it was just like, okay, I get invited to a Diddy party. This is great. This is awesome. Let's go to a Diddy party. To pull out that Diddy big old diddler. Until Diddy becomes Diddy and he gives you these rich vibes. <laughs> and he's you ready to diddle. Like these vibes you ain't never been on before. Like this is a whole nother trip 
that you ain't never been on before. And I think you just wasn't ready for the ride. And Cat Williams see. said that, um, I ain't going to say, Cat say you got to tell him no. Uh, it's been stated that he's aggressive. Like, he's not one of them guys that you'll be like, oh, no, nah, Diddy, I don't want to give up the cheeks. No, 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 no. He's like, really. Right. But see, my thing is, there's people that literally said, hey, I know when to leave. And see, the ones who stayed, why but, you ain't know when to leave? But, 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 now, okay, I will say, I'm, you at a Diddy party. Some of the most influential people in your field are at this party. You know, things finna get a little crazy, a little, little freak or whatever. Let's just say you like um, Uncle Luke. He say he left. Wow. You are OG in the game. You've been in the game. You've been getting money. You know how things go. And if things finna get too freaky for Uncle Luke, then yeah, it's probably finna get bad. But I can see a newcomer that's like, man, been trying to get it out the mud. This all he ever wanted was a deal. Like all he ever wanted was to be a hit producer. Or all she ever wanted was to be a video girl. And this dude like literally holds your future in your hands. It reminds me of the episode with Everybody Hates Chris. When Chris was doing everything that that black quarterback told him to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he'll say, my man. You know, <laughs> that's all he would reward Chris with was a my man. But yeah. the perks of being the football player's friend and being his little do boy right. was he didn't get his butt beat up by um yeah. the school bully. You know, he got girls to speak to him and stuff. So I could see some people falling weak. I can see the pressure really being on. Mm -hmm. You trying to ease out the dough. And one of the members from one of those popular rap groups, I don't know who's at these parties. I ain't gonna call no name, but one of them be like, yo, son, where you going? You know what I'm saying? You like, oh dang. Um, I gotta run and get the don't worry about that, man. I got money for that. I cover that. Oh, but then my uh, my mama called. She needs some food. I Uber some food, man. Don't worry about that. It's like every time you come up with a lie, they got a solution for your lie. You know, oh, man, my eye missing. Oh, we got two, but three see, eyes I'm in the back. Girl. Okay, I'm a, I'm a Oh, woman. you surely wasn't going to go nowhere. So I I have, no but see, no, I, I, you know, women have been in situations to where what if you're on a bad date or if you're on a bad, in a, at a bad, you know, pretty much at a bad date. So if you're on a bad date, like, you know how when it's time to go. You know when it's time but to go, when things get a little weird. It ain't just like walking out a regular party. This dude stays on the damn, like he stays in Neverland. It's a whole ranch. It's huge. That's you got to get past security and all the other folks. That's and you just going to run out of there. Now, what happens if ain't nothing happened at this party? Everybody probably just had a little regular orgy. They get back to business. Did you say regular orgy? Well, you know how they get down with the dope. In the, in the dope and in the, in the fun. You know, they have a regular old orgy. Nothing, nothing you bad. Really. regular old orgy. Like, you said, <laughs> she's done before. Like, wait no, a minute. No, no. It's just, it's regular. <laughs> it's just a regular old Wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. What do you mean regular no, old? I have mercy. None of them are regular and old to me. No, <laughs> not, don't put me in it. I don't want to get diddled by the diddler. I'm just saying, oh, you know. Oh, God. What if nothing happened and the next week they got a studio session they need a producer. They need a background singer. Um, they need a dancer. And you ain't in a cool kid club no more. Because, you know what I'm saying, you vamped out on their ass. And they like, see, man, you should have came through, man. You know, afterwards, we just ran the Waffle House and just kicked it. Then you like, dang. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I can see, you know, you know, people in New York, they be go-getters. They be real hungry for bread. You know, and I could see a young kid coming up, making beats, uh, rapping on the corner. And Diddy is acting like he going to give you a chance. You know, now I ain't saying that's going to make a man. It ain't. It wouldn't make me bend over. But I could see it. Um, I, 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 I think I understand. You mm. know, the pressure they might have been under because it's, it's cold out there. It's, I, I, I it's cold out there in the streets. I understand the pressure. Yes, I understand, but the pressure. The, but the thing is, mm. it's like a pimp almost. It's like I pimp guess. daddy did it. <laughs> I guess you could say that. And then you kind of forced into doing something that you didn't really want to do. And so after it's said and done, you can say that you were forced into it technically. Yeah, you technically. know, and that's why that's the that's the thing that they're claiming. It was like groomed. They're being forced. You know what I'm saying? This is like a real thing that they're claiming. You know, That's such a word. Groomed. groomed. Yeah, that is a word for you. You know, I was being groomed. I, I wouldn't. I, huh? Groomed. groomed. Well, why did was that terminology placed there? I, I, I groomed the hell out of you. 
I, I, I groomed the hell out of you. That's how I got you for so long. I gave you a good groom. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. For what? Just stop. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I gave you a good one, then. <laughs> <laughs> No after work kiss or nothing. You ain't even greet me and say, nah, nah, I don't get nothing because we on the TV. Nah. <laughs> that's enough about uh, P, <laughs> P. Diddy, man. That's enough, <laughs> that's enough about P. Diddy. Um, another thing we got going on is these um, these extra channels we're doing on YouTube. You know, the extra... Okay. Our extra content that we're doing. Um, can I go a little bit deeper? You mind? Okay. The faceless yeah. channel. Um, we're working on some faceless channel content. But it's not like your regular faceless channel content ran by all AI. So no, like, no, no. Like, well, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Let's just start there. This is true faceless because content. Because the faceless AI content is out of control. Let me just start. Let me just say that. That is out of control already. Yeah, it's becoming yeah. the new thing, but it's out of control already, and y'all better be careful with it because, like, that's for the ones that's using all AI though. Like, you I can't think, do that. You know, like, you can't just, just straight AI it. all the way across the board. The voices are fake. The the pictures are stock. Some of the pictures don't match up with the story or with the actual receipts that you read, and like stuff like that don't add any value. No, it doesn't to it. So yeah, that's that's garbage. Yes, but, value is very important. Adding value is extremely important yes and that's what we doing when we're doing on our faceless page we're most definitely putting us into it we're just not showing our yeah. faces you know it's not um, perfect yet but it's getting no it's there. not perfect yet but it's we, we, we we're it's doing all there. right okay. we're doing all right we're doing, okay. we're doing okay man we um i really want to get to the point where we put on our our on our channel yeah, we'll um, link it below. No, I want to put on a video of us actually recording some footage, you know, um, doing the voiceovers and stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know what it is? 